Hi you guys, this is Michelle aka Mimi from Michelle MC Journey. How are you guys doing today? This is so awkward that I'm doing this video after what 10 months or more maybe even a year. I don't think I've uh, posted in a while. Um, I mean, a lot of you guys know that last year we had a family loss in the family, my husband's brother and all that stuff, so that kind of, um, took us away from things. Uh, this is gonna be like a little update kind of thing. I haven't done anything, I don't know, I wasn't planning anything. I was just like, I'm gonna do my makeup. But then I was like, oh, maybe I should do a video and, like, explain where have I been. I mean, a lot of people who, who follow me on Instagram and all that stuff knows. And then, like, I've told some people here and there that I've been following on YouTube. I am with the cold, so if I need to blow my news and stuff like that, I do apologize. Sniffles and all that stuff. Um, But also, I am uh, 32 weeks pregnant. I have a... Another bundle of joy on the way. Um, it's another girl. Uh, I have two girls. Uh, if you guys know, Elisa and Aaliyah. Elisa is nine, turning ten this year, and Aaliyah is two, turning three in November. So, yeah, I'm a girl mom. <laughs> so I'm gonna start doing makeup and everything, and then like tell you guys everything that's happening and all that stuff. Um, it's just been very difficult, like, these few, uh, things. I have my mirror right here, so if I'm um, looking down, it's because I'm looking that way. Um, so, you know, like I was saying, um, I was, we were just going through it. Uh, we had more family losses during 2022, so it was just, just, uh, really I don't know just I felt distant with everybody um finding you know people find their own way to cope with losses and everything and just having my daughter and who's older who understands more um go through her things and all that stuff um and then I found out that I was expecting the baby uh, almost at the end of uh, of the year. And um, this, I mean, I um, uh, I have hyperemesis gravigerium. It is a severe nausea and vomiting during pregnancies that only 3% of the women have, have. I've had it with my previous pregnancies, but... Uh, I thought at least Aaliyah's pregnancy was bad. Um, I even got a Zofran pump that had to be poked in my stomach all the time and all that stuff. But it was actually, uh, this actually has been far most the worst pregnancy I've had with both of them combined. Um, I lost, I don't know if you can tell, but like over 60 pounds. And, um, I do have the Zofran pump, but not on my stomach. It's actually connected to a pick line. And a pick line is like a catheter tube that they, like, make an incision in your arm. And then it goes inside your veins. And it's a catheter. They go put it to your heart. And just leave it there. So, um, um, when I wasn't able to eat, I was getting TPN. Um, it's like this nasty white uh bag of fluids in there and it's for you with all the nutrients that you're supposed to have and everything and that's what they will feed me through the um one of the tubes lines that i have and then the other one is connected to the zofran pump which is a med medicine that goes uh 24 7 for nausea and vomiting um have it worked has it worked <laughs> i'm happy to say i'm eating but it's not like i always keep it down um i happy am happy that i don't have to take um what's it called um 
the TPN because uh, I don't know it just smelled and looked gross smelled like tomato oh, tomatoes potatoes and um yeah so um because of that I had to make a uh, I was admitted to the hospital um I was there for a few days then got out and then I had to go back and was admitted actually um for almost three weeks at the hospital and um my employer was waiting for me to be able to get out and like feel better and you know get the Zofran pump to see if I can get back to work but um I saw myself that I was not getting better and it was to a point to where actually my life was being at risk for a heart attack because of how low all my organs were. Um, I had heart monitors just to make sure I don't have a heart attack and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, so that a lot has happened and, um, and it's not great. Like, I'm better now. Um, I'm still dealing with a lot of health issues. Um, but other than that, we're doing good. But the loss of income has been kind of depressing. Um, I do not like asking for help. So I did um, do a GoFundMe. And thank you to all the people who um, sent money on GoFundMe who actually saw me on Instagram. Um, even it was $5 or how many you guys gave. I do appreciate because you guys are... Uh, I know we are all in budgeting and like trying to think. And like it's nice to know that like... We, we support each other in the good and bad. It's not always the good times. So I do appreciate my family as well. Like donated. And then uh, we've been getting help with church. Um, and But that's over. So I am due in June. Um, the second or third week of June. So I'm hoping that when this baby is born. Um, um, that I get back like heal myself, have time with the baby, and then go back to work, um, because we are struggling right now, my husband basically had to take the role of what I do, because I am bed rested, my precious bed is right there, and then I do have IV fluids, uh, right next to it, so if I'm not having enough fluids during the day, I would have to connect myself, usually my husband is the connect one who connects me and um uh yeah I mean he kind of sorry he kind of had to take the role of what I used to do with the kids during the day during the morning and the night and all that stuff and because I can't do any um anything like I have dizziness I faint or almost faint. I almost fall or fall. Um, I also, the pick line has restrictions. You can't pick up things. So like my little two-year-old is 30 pounds. I can't pick her up. I'm not supposed to pick her up. Um, I already had a problem with my pick line. I was reorganizing my desk. Not now, but a few months ago. And, um... Well, the pick line came out and I was had to go to the emergency room and, and then get admitted and then be there, then get a new pick line, which is right here on my right arm. And yeah, that's it's not fun. Not fun at all. Like I'm just to the point where like I'm I'm done with being with this pregnancy so much. Like I, I don't wanna I don't wanna do this anymore. <laughs> I want this baby out of me. I mean, uh, baby is a girl, so like I said, so she, thankfully she she is healthy and happy. So far, she moves a lot, so um, I think um, you know, very grateful for that as uh, um, 
that she's good. We did have a few scares, and I do have a specialist, and I get to get uh, go to the OBGYN every two weeks. So that's fun. Um, not really, but uh, it's okay. I mean, like I said, thirty two weeks. Ouch! I just scratched my face. Um. So, um, like, you know, uh, I'm almost there, and it will be all worth it when the little one's here, and I am 100%, uh, um, fine. I hear my little one stomping, but the door is closed, so she might cry, but she just ran off. So I guess she's like, oh, it's still closed. Um, I do have a, um, what's it called? I have two separate ones. I'm not using the same one. Uh, <laughs> just in case. Um, I do have a few interviews for a job that starts around, um, August, September, October. So I'm very hopeful to be getting a job soon. So I know that for a fact when the baby's here, I have a job to start. I don't have to be looking or wondering how we're going to make ends meet. And all that uh, good stuff. Sorry, I'm like looking for a brush so I can do my makeup. Because I did forget to wet my sponge. I don't know if I should just use this one. I'll just get both of them just in case they decide. Um, oh, by the way, I did use um, some Broden Fields wipes and then um, uh, makeup milk hydro primer. Sorry. It's like really sticky and I like how it makes. I like how it <laughs> has my foundation. I feel like it does move places. I do like to wet my thing. <clears throat> my thing. My brush, I guess it's called. Oh, and this is Born This Way and Warm Beige. But I found, I think, my correct color because I was using some other color that was more. Uh, Orangey, so that's nice to have found something that that is my color. And, and yeah, so I'm really excited that I have an interview, and I feel like I pretty look much dead. <laughs> it's like. I think the camera is giving me more justice than, than so. Um, let's see. Um, let's, what do I want to do? I don't know. I don't, I'm not liking this. It's not giving me what I want. Um, uh, I've had lots of dance with this pregnancy and, you know, with everything. My husband, when there's work, he's working as much as he can. And, uh, I feel bad for him because he's, like, doing so much for us. But then again, I'm very happy that I have such a great, um, partner to help us out. My mom did come from Arizona after my dad came to come help us out. And he actually suffered a um, stroke. And I was so sick that I was like, even when I was sick, I was worried about my dad. And then when my dad finally decided to go to the hospital, he suffered a, a mini stroke. And, um, um, that was, oh, what am I doing? I don't do my foundation first. All right, I guess I am today. Uh, um, 
I feel all munched more than that. Um, so, uh, my mom had to come. And so, uh, my mom had to come to help both of us out. And so, and that's been great, having the support of my parents to come, because we were going to need it, um, especially with, um, you know, two kids and all. Um, I never use concealer, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> use it for you guys. Um. So yeah, I don't know what to say. A lot's been going on, and I'm trying to look the positive, I'm trying to be good, I'm like, we're almost done with this, we're okay, we're going to be okay. We did get into a lot of debt, again, because credit cards were used a lot to pay bills that sadly we didn't have, um, pay, payment or stuff like that, um, you know. My husband made makes good, but with you know, you know how some marriages combine, it works with that for them. Sometimes separate is good too. But um, my bills will pay majority of the like rent and the cars, the high bills, and then his will be like little bills, and then. Anything else will be savings and, uh, um, um, uh, what's the word, um, things like that. Savings and all that stuff. So, you know, sorry you guys. I can't multitask anymore. Um, bills, saving challenges, emergency fund, things like that, and our and our wants and and things like that. Um, I guess I'm gonna do for just a one eyeshadow look. Um. That's my update. But I've met so many people. Um, I mean, I've known people on here. Like, I still follow a lot of uh, everybody. And then uh, other people I've met. And they've been the sweetest, most kindest people here. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys. Um, so... You know, I'm very, very, very thankful and very, very, uh, appreciated because, um, being in the hospital, unable to see your kids, I've, I've never been far away from my kids. Um, it, it is the most depressing thing you can ever go through and I miss Christmas with them. I get sentimental, so I might get sentimental again. But, um, like, to this day, I get, I start crying because, like, I wasn't able to see them. And even though my doctors made arrangements and I was able to see them for an hour or two, unable to go to home to them and see them and, like, have them, you know, be with me and not them understand. I mean, my oldest understands, but, like, not having my two-year-old understands like why is mommy hasn't been here why is mommy you know leaving and not coming back it's like it's it's very hard it's very depressing to even think about because it's just like i never thought it would be this hard like 
something this hard can happen. And I learned like people, I mean, a lot of people were thinking worse certain words like because pick lines are actually also used for um people like for cancer and stuff like that because they can't eat or something like that so people are actually like thinking the worst we didn't want to tell anybody we wanted it to be a surprise we wanted to i mean it was a surprise for us too but we wanted uh to celebrate the surprise especially having lost someone that year i believed it was like um a um a celebration you know even though we're going through something tough and hard uh there's life new life coming and like being with us and all and so um that's that's what I think. I used um 250W concealer from Rare Beauty and then um the eyeshadow was from Naked the very old I don't think it's good anymore and then i'm using she glam from um sheen uh this is the eyebrow cream i literally just comb it now because i don't feel like doing my eyebrows i just don't want to look dead uh i say dead because i feel exhausted and overwhelmed and just like I've been going through it a lot and um see the difference um so um yeah so that's, that's I'm almost done and I was like let me make the video and I'm like let me actually check it's still going. <laughs> oh munchkins running around. And then do 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 what else? No, occupied. What are you doing? Well, I have my interview today. Or I can get into room. Yes, I'm getting ready for it. I uh, one is supposed to be at like ten thirty, and the other one is at five thirty. It's nine forty. And then I like to put just clear gel on it. Um, I got to find a small little brush. Go back to YouTube. You could guys see how terrible my financial thing is, but we are all just about bettering ourselves and and uh, learning and all that. The reason why I like to do my um, 
eyebrows and my um, my makeup first just if there's any messed ups I'm not having to <sighs> to go in and all that I don't know how they not look like twins, but like sisters. <laughs> okay. um, we're gonna do blush. If I want to do this one, do I have more than one brush? I just want my simple one. I have the rare beauty one, but it comes out. I'm sorry, I'm like all the snippy snippy things are. This is a little too much that I was thinking. I was like, I wasn't trying to do the breath. <laughs> the camera has seen so much more than in real life. Is that a real thing? Girl, I'm a little burn. Girl, copy that. When this happens, if you put too much product, it's good to get a sponge and like some setting spray and then thing. But I'm going to try to just use as much as the brush I have and then go back and like so sponge. Out of it later. Um, I don't know if I have oh, The one that I'm gonna use um, to uh, put it over. Um, I don't know where else to go. <laughs> but yeah, I hope everybody's well. Uh, I know I had some giveaways, and I do apologize. I haven't chose anybody and all that stuff. I'm gonna uh, redo the gift give away and give other people chances as well um i don't think it'll be anytime soon because i'm not gonna start um um 
doing um uh what's called um uh, videos frequently like today is so so far a good day even i have a cold but um even with this cold it gives me problems like if i get a fever i need to go to the hospital and i didn't want to go to the hospital a few days ago because it was like it's i got a cold like like why would I go to a hospital for a cold? But because of the pick line and all that jazz, it's for safety because you can get an infection, you can get blood clots, you can have problems. So I understand that it's for my good, but I was like, my kids got it, I got it, everybody has it. It's a highly, and the nurse came and checked. Uh, I get a nurse that comes every week and clean it off and all that stuff and i'm like if the nurse didn't see any sign of an infection why well people think it's an infection you know so yeah so that's why i'll go if my theory comes up and thankfully so far it has not but my sister came back and my runny nose came back and i'm like never ending and i just got rid of a um twice of a um butterfingers is back uh twice of uh, a stomach bug and yeah and then uh like two weeks before and then one week later i get a freaking cold with stomach bug i mean with fever cold coughing and all that jazz and um i'm like oh excuse me can i get a break i have not a nice break for the longest time this girl get a break of not feeling so sick all the time like please like um uh, this girl is tired so i was like i wanna uh wait one second oh hopefully i didn't get makeup on me and i did That was fun. Got makeup on my shirt. I don't even know where my little sponge is. I was like, what is this one? Oh, I um, You know, I'm just exhausted. But they do say that when you're pregnant, your your defense system is and immune system is more low, so you're bound to do it. Trust me. And then before that, I got what's it called a COVID, and everybody else was negative. I'm seriously about to put a toilet. Up toilet paper up my nose i'm almost done can we get to this please um so yeah i'm gonna do she glam uh this is lip tint in the color chicky um it's kind of like a looks like thing but i feel like it's when my lips are not so dehydrated I think that's a part of my de dehydration right now. I um, I feel like it, it looks real close to my color, so uh, I guess I like it. Uh, 
down quite a bit as it goes past. And then sometimes when I'm, it's supposed to be not transfer, but it is. The first time I did it, it didn't come out, but, oh, maybe it has to dry a little bit. Oops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think you're supposed to wait for it. But, um, I usually use the sheet grant, the gloss as well. Everything is very affordable. Um... I don't know if I want to do it with a liner. I should have. I don't know. I feel like it kind of completes, completes the, uh, the look. I'm just going to do a little sign. And then... what to do after yep and I messed it up see that's why I like to do the line first because then I can just make it thick and then make the other one thick I don't know if I have another arm I don't feel like picking that up on the floor. Just another. Everything's just falling. Everything's just falling. <laughs> See, that's that makes a difference. I usually will put like eyeshadow on it, but I am doing that. I use my phone. And I'm not in the mood to do all that. You didn't see the same wipe that I used earlier for my cleaning my face so I can get all the makeup off my hands.
Baba? Who's Baba? Sorry. <laughs> I think that's my time to go. Plus, my body's already hurting in this position. So, thank you for listening, and uh, I'll be back soon to do some other stuff. Actually, I was planning to do a catch thing, so maybe I'll do that when I have the chance. I don't know when. We'll see. But yes. Bye, you guys.